When it comes to the age of dinosaurs, most of us immediately imagine huge lizards. And you may get the impression that all the animals after their appearance were much smaller. But this impression is more than wrong. Of course, no predator that has appeared in the last 66 million years can compare with the T-Rex. Among herbivores, there was not a single creature larger than the South American sauropods. And among flying birds, no one has surpassed the size of Quetzalcoatlus. But still, such a phenomenon as giantism has not completely disappeared from living nature. Today, we will tell you about the largest animals that became extinct after the end of the Cretaceous period. Subscribe to the Age of Dinosaurs channel. This will allow you to be the first to know when new videos are released. Your likes and comments help promote through the platform's algorithms. And also, activity from viewers helps us in developing the channel and choosing topics for the next episodes. The most likely reason for the disappearance of giant dinosaurs is the presence of comfortable conditions for development. With the abundance of food and sustainable climate and other favorable factors, herbivores increased in size. The predators that hunted them had to grow in order to not simply die of hunger. It is believed that only small animals survived the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. But over time, the ecological niches vacated by dinosaurs began to gradually be filled. The vacancies of the large predators and herbivores were also refilled. Moreover, a tendency towards gigantism was observed not only in reptiles and crocodiles related to dinosaurs, but birds and mammals, which had previously lived in the shadow of giant lizards. Now, the sizes and descriptions of some of them may seem fictional, but still, these amazing creatures inhabited our planet at different times. Indricotherium or Parasitarium This ancestor of modern rhinoceroses is one of the largest land mammals in the entire history of Earth. It lived in Mongolia, China, Kazakhstan, Pakistan, and India approximately 23 to 34 million years ago. The length of its body could exceed 23 feet and its height up to 19.5 feet. This giant weighed from 15 to 20 tons. But we can't consider these figures completely reliable. Scientists do not have a single completely preserved skeleton of Indricotherium. All of his cervical vertebrae and ribs have not yet been discovered. Researchers can only guess with the tail of this animal what it was like. It is reliably known that Parasitarius had a more column-like leg and elongated neck. Along with its back was a fleshy hump. The structure of the jaws suggests that the nose of the Indricotherium could resemble a small proboscis, such as that of modern tapers. He was a herbivore, living in floodplains, open forests, and even semi-deserts. It is believed that his lifestyle was similar to the habits of modern elephants and rhinoceroses. There is an opinion that the spread of ancient proboscis led to the extinction of the Indricotheres. The ancestor of modern elephants had already left Africa at that time and were actively populating Eurasia. They, like modern elephants, tend to remove all the tall vegetation in their habitats. And Intricotheres most likely fed on the leaves of trees and shrubs. Changing landscapes and reducing the amount of food forced them to give up their living space to more adaptable creatures. Embolotherium Although outwardly this giant is very similar to modern rhinoceroses, it is not their close relative. Embolotherium belongs to the Brontiridae family. Extinct equids that lived in Asia and North America on the border of the Eocene and Oligocene era. The remains of these animals were found in Mongolia. Their age ranging from 28 to 38 million years. They grew up to 16.5 feet in length and weighed about 2 tons. Embolotherium got its name from the large bony growth at the end of its snout. The word translates as beast ram. But unlike the horn of modern rhinoceroses, the forthorn of the Embolotherium was quite fragile. 
It is unlikely that these elephant-sized animals sorted things out by ramming into each other. Their horns could serve as a means of intimidating enemies or attracting the opposite sex. It's also believed that it helped this animal make various sounds. Dinotherium The name of this prehistoric elephant translates as terrible beast. It was given this name after its discovery of the first fossil associated with the species. This happened in Germany in 1828. A jaw with curved fangs was found in sediments from the early Pliocene era. Naturalist Jacob Kopp, who described the find, reconstructed the animal with huge fangs pointed upward. Subsequent discoveries helped determine that it was a lower jaw and the tusks were curved downwards. The most complete skeleton of the Dinotherium was found in Ukraine in 1963. In general, the habitat of these proboscideans was quite wide. Between 1 and 15 million years ago, these elephants spread from Africa to Southeast Asia. Their maximum length was 19.5 feet and the height around 13 feet. These giants could weigh up to 13 tons. Steppe Mammoth this species of extinct woolly elephant is the largest of them all. They're believed to have descended from the southern mammoths that lived in Siberia. In the period from 370 to 60,000 years ago, steppe mammoths were distributed through Europe and western Siberia. Their fossilized remains are found in Russia, Kazakhstan, England, Siberia, along other countries. Steppe mammoths were completely covered with thick fur, which allowed them to survive the most severe frosts. His height approximately 470 centimeters and weighed up to 10 tons. Males were significantly larger than females. Their curved tusks could grow almost 16.5 feet. Paleoloxodon nematicus The largest elephant and also the largest land mammal was another animal. This straight tusked elephant lived in what is now Southeast Asia his remains were found in India, China, Japan, and other countries around the region. According to scientists, he was up to 17 feet tall and could weigh up to 22 tons. This is approximately four times the average weight of modern African elephants. Its almost straight tusks were up to 10 feet long and believed that his body was covered with short hair. This giant died out about 56,000 years ago. Titanoboa This giant snake lived in South America approximately 60 million years ago. The name Titanoboa can be translated as Titanic Boa Constrictor. She belonged to the family of pseudo-legged snakes related to boa constrictors. At that time, it was one of the largest predators on the entire planet. Its length was about 46 feet and could weigh up to 1.2 tons. Most likely, females were significantly smaller than the males, as in the case with many modern snakes. As recent studies have shown, the main diet of these snakes was fish. Considering that Titanoboa is a cold-blooded animal, it needed a lot of heat to achieve such impressive dimensions. Scientists suggest that the average air temperature was between 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. Perhaps these snakes lived near hot springs, Opponents of this say that the reptiles now living in the equator region would also be giants. Perhaps the Titanoboa's gigantic size allowed it to generate enough heat on its own. Megalania A giant lizard, Megalania, lived on the territory of the Australian continent from 1.6 million to 40,000 years ago. According to various estimates, its length could reach from 11 to 18 feet, and it could weigh up to a half ton. Scientists suggest that Megalania's lifestyle was identical to the habits of the modern Komodo dragon. But interesting, by that time, this creature disappeared. Representatives of humanity had already appeared in the region. They were the so-called Flores people. Around 10 to 13 million years ago, a gigantic toothed whale lived in the ocean near the coast of modern Peru. It got its name from the biblical sea monster, 
Leviathan, along with the author of the novel of Moby Dick, Henry Melville. This extinct sperm whale has many similarities with its descendants, but scientists only have the Leviathan skull at their disposal. Therefore, estimates of its maximum length vary greatly. If its proportions corresponded to the body proportions of modern sperm whales, then it only grew to 44 feet. Another technique suggests comparing it with earlier and also extinct species of sperm whales. It can be assumed that Melville's Leviathan could have been 57.5 feet long. For comparison, the average length of modern sperm whales is 11 to 16 meters, but the Leviathan tooth is the largest tooth ever found. Its length exceeds 36 centimeters and its diameter about 12 centimeters. Megalothon Without a doubt, Leviathan was the terror of the seas and oceans of his time. Only the giant shark, the Megalodon, could compete with it. But since sharks are cartilaginous fish, only their jaws and vertebrae have ever been preserved. This makes it very difficult for scientists to reconstruct the size of the Megalodon. According to various estimates, its length ranged from 30 to 50 feet, and its body weight ranged from 12 to 47 tons. Externally, Megalodon is usually depicted as a proportionally enlarged white shark. Between 28 and 2.6 million years ago, these monsters lived in all the seas and oceans of Earth. Their remains have been found in different parts of the world. Shortly before Megalodons began to disappear from our planet, new participants joined the race of giants. About 3.6 million years ago, modern whales began to evolve towards their larger sizes. The size of blue whales exceeded 82 feet approximately 1.5 million years ago. By evolutionary standards, this happened quite recently. This means that it is possible that blue whales might not have reached their true possible maximum length. Although they are already larger in size than all animals described in this issue and those left behind in the scenes. The creators of this channel express their deep gratitude to the viewers who watched this video to the end. You can learn more about the living creatures described in this issue from previous materials posted on the channel. They can also tell you about the development and origin of life on the planet from its inception to the present day. And if you want to get to know other extinct giants better, write about it in the comments.